person is in the hospital tonight after a shooting on a campus on a Alabama A&M's campus with an A&M police officer. It left students and faculty worried and shocked, especially since this is the second shooting in the same location to happen on campus this school year. 48 News was first on the scene and online to bring you that breaking news. We continue our coverage tonight with WAFF 48 Savannah Sapp live on campus. Savannah, there are some very important questions still lingering even hours later into this investigation. Right, and starting with the person who is in the hospital tonight, Margot, what is their condition? And were they a student? Also, how did they have a gun on campus? And what started this whole incident? Tonight, campus police at Alabama A&M are sharing very few details. I saw it went down on the floor. I saw bullet holes on the walls. It was really crazy, man. Reactions from Alabama A&M students after an officer involved shooting in a campus residence hall Monday afternoon. Campus Police Chief Montrez Payton addressed cameras about what led up to the gunfire. He says during a routine patrol, a campus police officer was on the fifth floor of the night complex when he heard shots fired below him. Payton says as the officer went to respond to the shots, he came into contact with an individual on the stairwell. Multiple shots were exchanged in that stairwell. Individual was hit multiple times. Uh, that individual has been transported uh, to Huntsville Hospital. Was that individual a student? Unclear tonight, nor did police provide any information on why shots were fired initially. University officials issued an alert to students shortly after police arrived. Many students say this is not how they envisioned their first day back to campus from spring break. It surprised me. I was like, I was like, we just got back from spring break and they already doing this. So, you know, I was like, I was like, they shouldn't be bringing this on campus. If, if they're going to fight, then they should just fight. They shouldn't bring guns into it because that's when it gets serious. Chief Payton says as Aaliyah takes over the investigation, his department will respond with an increased police presence on campus. Yet that's doing little to assure students about their safety. As you know, we had a situation last August, and so we had already been operating in that. Um, and so we will continue to, to build those efforts, to continue to increase patrols uh, for, for our campus to make sure our students know uh, they're safe. I'm hoping for a better experience. I don't want no violence around at the school that I go to to get my education. That's just not right. That ain't right at all. Now again, Margo, we still do not know what led up to those first initial shots that alerted officers. Alabama A&M officials have since released a statement saying that this incident brought, quote, stress and uncertainty to their community. Reporting live from Alabama A&M, Savannah Sapp, 48 News, on your side.